Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and welcome back to episode 3 of Android Customization. In episode 1 we looked at launchers, episode 2 is icon packs, and today we're going to be looking at Android widgets. So, let's take a look. So before we get going, a little bit of housekeeping. I'm using my Google Pixel 5, I've installed Nova Launcher as my launcher, and I do have some custom icons installed as well, but the main thing that we're going to be looking at today is Android widgets and exactly how they work. So I'm just going to put my screen recording just here, and this is my current setup using Nova Launcher on my Pixel 5. So as you can see, it's a very minimal looking feel. I do have a custom white icon pack, and again, a dark theme all over as well, with this really nice white icon pack that I think looks really nice. Now I've also then got the At A Glance widget, which is the Google Pixel 5 widget, and it basically tells you some information with regards to the weather, the date, the day, and it also has some information with regards to calendar appointments if you have any. But it can also look kind of boring, so what we're going to do is long press on there. And then you've got the option to have app info, resize, change to padding, or remove. So for this one, we're just going to remove it from the home screen, and we've got a blank canvas to work from with some new widget options. As always, the best place to start is the Play Store. So we head into the Play Store, and we go to Widgets. Then again, it's going to bring up all of the widget options that you've currently got here available. Now, you do have some custom widgets like KWGT, for example, and that's a really in-depth widget application. It allows you to change, modify, and basically create your own widgets, which we'll be looking at in a later video. Today, though, we're just going to get to the basics of widgets, what they are, when to use them, and how. So for this one, we're going to be looking at two different widget options. So the first one is the Your Calendar widget. So again, all you need to do, head over to the application and click Install, and you're set and ready to go. Now also for all of you other that don't have a Pixel device, you can install the Another Widget application, and this is basically going to allow you to get the Pixel widget on any Android device. So again, we're going to be trying out that one as well, digging into the options and see exactly what we've got available. Once they're both downloaded, head back to your home screen, and then you're pretty much set and ready to go. Now with most launchers, you long press on the home screen, and then you've got a widget option down at the bottom. If you're using Nova Launcher, it's really simple to do. For those other launchers, you may just need to do a search and look for the widget options, and then take it from there. So first off then, we have the calendar widget. So we head into the widget options. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be under C for calendar. And of course it's not. So what is it going to be under? Sometimes the naming conventions are a little bit off. So this one is your calendar widget. So it's actually going to be at the bottom there. So what you need to do is long press on the widget and then move it onto your home screen. And then you get all of the options for the actual widget itself. And then you're pretty much set and ready to go. So if this one, if I then swipe up to go home, you can see here that I've got a widget on my home screen. Now, at the moment, it doesn't really look too much like a calendar. Now I've got the dates, a plus, which I'm guessing is to add an appointment, settings, and left and right. However, if I long press on this and then go to the resize options, you can actually then move the widget around, make it larger, and see exactly what you've got coming up on your calendar, and get it to the exact size that you need it to go to. Then if you just press on your home screen, you've now got a widget, calendar widget, and it's got all the information on there that you could need. So again, anytime you go back to your home screen, that is then going to be there. And again, you can change it, resize it. And with this particular calendar widget, you've got a ton of different options to customize the calendar and make it look exactly what you need to use. And then we have the another widget. So again, if we just get rid of this one by clicking remove, long press on the home screen, go down to widgets, and then we do have the another widget option here. Again, long press, drag onto your home screen, and then it's gonna bring up all of these settings options for this particular widget. So again, allow or deny any permissions that you may want to, and then as you can see here, this one has a ton of different options. You've got text size, color, different rows, preferences, shadows, you can add or hide the calendar, Add the weather, for example, you can just click on this one here. It's then going to add the weather. You do need to grant it permission, so it knows where you are. So again, you've got the clock options as well, so you can show the clock or you can hide the clock. And then for this one, you just need to click Add Widget. And again, you're pretty much set and ready to go. And you've now got the Pixel 5 widget on any Android device. Now again, you can go through and resize it to make it smaller or bigger like this, for example. So again, very simple to use. Now, these are just some very basic widgets. You can have some different widget options that basically change the look and feel of your device and kind of act a little bit like a launcher. Now, those widgets are going to be coming in a later video when we go into more kind of extreme or advanced Android customization. So again, if that's something you guys want to see, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. But for the meantime, that's actually going to do it 
it guys for widgets on Android for this basic introduction. Now if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you've got any questions or comments let me know in the comments section or on Twitter at copper versus glass. If you're not already subscribed now is a great time to do so and once you've hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I post a new video here on the channel and also for the next part of Android customization episode 4. So if that's something you guys are looking forward to again make sure that you are subscribed. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.